Hello guys. Um, today medyo uh, professional yung yung vlog natin, no? Uh, kasi may mga questions lagi yung mga co-teachers ko, pati yung mga estudyante ko ng masteral sa Far Eastern University for FEU. Um, after nila nang mag-take ng masters, ano ba yung kukuhanin nila? Uh, PhD ba? Or Doctor of Philosophy? Or EDD? Or Doctor of Education? So ngayon, try natin makita yung difference ng dalawa. So ito na nga, um, ano ba yung magiging basis ng decision nyo for uh, if you're going to take EDD or um, PhD? So um, for me kasi, uh, it actually depends dun sa goal or purpose nyo kung, kung bakit kayo magte-take ng doctorate after ng inyong masterate. So, um, for me, talagang pag-isipan nyo muna maigi kung ano ba yung magiging track na, na binabalak nyo. If, if you are planning sa management, then the best doctorate to take is EDD. Pero kung nagbabalak kayong magturo for example, sa college or sa graduate school. So, for me, I think it's page di rin. Although, yung EDD naman is pwedeng magturo, but focus on management talaga siya. Unlike, um, PhD is talagang for teaching and uh, research. So, ma. So, that, ito yung first question eh, na after masteral, an ano na yung kukuhanin ko? EDD or PhD? So, yun yung laging pumapasok sa isip. So, sabi ko nga kanina, depende sa inyo kung ano talaga yung purpose nyo. Kung bakit uh, magpupurso kayo ng higher education pa after masteral. Ayan, what to choose? So, nakalagay dyan, uh, yung decision between uh, two culminating degrees, uh, it can be career uh, defining as each serves a very different purpose despite being equivalent in level. So, ito nga yung na-explain ko sa inyo kanina. So, know your purpose. Ano ba yung dahilan kung bakit um, gusto nyo mag-take ng doctorate? Uh, aside from, syempre, salary, promotion. So, yung future goals nyo really matters. Ayan, ano ba yung EDD degree? So, ang EDD, an EDD or Doctor of Education is a professional doctorate best suited for experienced educators and uh, mid to senior level working professionals who want to lead and implement change within their organization. EDD candidates work in a broad range of fields ranging from K-12 and higher education to non-profits, governments, healthcare, and the military. Yes, uh, kahit sa military, nag-hire sila ng mga teachers para dun sa mga estudyante rin nila sa PMA. For example, so actually, mas higher pa nga yung salary grade na ino-offer nila kaysa sa DepEd. And then what each share is a, dis a desire to transform their everyday environments and apply the lessons learned through their doctorate to a complex critical issue facing their workplace. So, yun nga, yung kanina, uh, EDD kasi, it's a field na research, ha? it's more on practice-based kasi siya. Uh, qualitative, exploratory, yung pag-involve siya sa research. Unlike ng PhD, medyo, medyo broad. Medyo broad, pero on a specific subject, kasi may mga majors naman siya. So, ang EDD naman, ganun din, na may kaso lang yung, yung for example, sa amin sa FEU, ang major niya is either curriculum and instruction or uh, educational administration. So, talagang focus ng EDD is management. So, next. So, ano ba yung mga makukuha nyo benefits kung nag-take kayo ng EDD? So, number one is post-secondary education administrators. So, ito yung mga president, vice president, provost, dean sa tertiary level or, or kahit sa graduate school level. Then, elementary and secondary school education admin. So, ito yung mga principals, including yung mga head teachers na involved sa planning na, and management ng education system talaga. And then, top executive. So, ito yung mga tao na nasa district, division, region, or even central ng DepEd. Or, kahit ng, uh, ng CHED. Instructional coordinators. So, ito yung mga 
kama sa pag-develop ng, for example, yung mga learning materials, tulad ngayon, yung gagamitin natin, di ba? And next is, ano ba yung PhD degree? So, PhD in education, so ito yung major in education, it's a terminal degree best suited for individuals who want to pursue a career in academia or research at the university level. So, gaya nga nang mention ko kanina, um, ito yung mga, for example, nagtuturo kayo sa, ngayon, sa DepEd, under DepEd, and then, future goal nyo is mag-transfer sa state university or kahit private higher educational institution. So, isa to sa mga passport nyo para makapasok. The PhD degree most popular um, is most popular, sorry, amongst those who aspire to become a professor or obtain a tenure position. Uh, through this program, students tend to focus on getting published in well-respected journals, presenting at national conferences, and learning how to teach future educators. Students in PhD program take a more theoretical study-based approach to learning as compared to sa sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na practice-based ang EDD. And then in most cases, their goal is to master a specific subject or add your unique findings to a body of existing literature. PhD candidates conduct original research in hopes of driving change in their field or inspiring others to make change based of their work. So, ang PhD talaga is, although focus a specific subject, yung EDD talaga is more on management. Um, ano ba yung mga magiging possible job titles after taking a PhD degree. So, kanina, uh, mapapansin nyo sa EDD na parang up, hindi pala parang apat sila, di ba? So, pero dito sa PhD, uh, halos dalawa lang, post-secondary teachers and academic researcher. So, pag sinabi natin uh, post-secondary teachers, so, so, talaga yung mga nasa tertiary and um, ikyan sa laga, nasa graduate school. And then, um, pag wala sila sa classroom, anong ginagawa ng mga PhD holder? Busy sila sa research. Pag-conduct sila ng research, umaatin ng mga conferences, uh, nagiging um, consultant sila sa mga journals, mga books, at madalas din silang ma-invite as a speaker sa mga specific topics. Kagaya ngayon sa webinar, di ba, na, na mga kinakonduct. And then, ang academic researcher naman, um, pwede silang mag-create um, ng sarili nilang centers or institute for research, pwede silang mag-hire ng mga tao and nakamakatulong nila sa research at makahanap sila ng funding, either ng institution nila or other uh, private institutions, lalo na pagka magbe-benefit yung institution na yun doon sa study na yung conduct nila. And then, last, taking the next step. So, ibig sabihin lang itong ito ay regardless ng ano man yung kuhanin mong degree, PhD or EDD, yung benefits niya sa, hindi lang sa sarili mo, but yung sa profession mo, is talagang napaka, napaka lawak, lalo na sa field ng education. And then, um, yan, at the end of the day, talaga, yung, yung decision na gagawin nyo, pumili ng EDD or PhD, is talagang nasa sarili nyo na, di ba? Know yourself, know your objectives, know your goals, ano ba yung plano mo sa buhay. Dun, dun mo i-align kung ano yung kukuhanin mong doctorate degree after mo na, master's or may ma-master ka ngayon, and then may plano ka mag-doctorate. So, ayun, yun lang yung number one tip ko sa inyo. Alamin niyo kung ano yung yung patutunguhan niyo sa sa field na education. So baka may natanong sino ba tong daldalan daldalan o difference between PhD and EDD. So actually, isa lang po ako sa mga sinipag na mag-aral continuously and mag-take ng PhD and EDD. So kahit pa paano, I mean, at least nakita ko yung difference ng ng dalawa. So ito nga pala yung mga natapos.
Ayan, so I hope uh, kahit pa paano nasagot natin yung tanong or, or nakatulong yung explanation ko kung ano ba yung difference ng dalawa. So, abangin na lang yung mga susunod ko pang vlogs. Thank you!